This is Nick. This is Jack. And this is Robin Hood Snacks. It's Tuesday, October 20th. Nick and I were freshman year roommates in college and then roommates again on 14th Street in New York City. A lot of roommate action. We learned to like make things digestible like your financial news. Now we're the co-hosts of Robin Hood Snacks and we have two digestible financial stories for you. For the first story, we got the dodo has a new profit puppy. For our second story, Walmart's mega app. Literally. For our first story, Jack, we gotta talk about the Dodo. A hundred million of us watch their adorable pet videos online. Remember, watch, it's the Dodo. That's right, Nick. Now they're pivoting from social media to pet insurance. Snackers, the Dodo is partnering with Pet Plan to make sure Fido or River the doggy is fully covered. River, whatever happens, you're covered. We'll just pay a deductible. All right, so here's how this is going down. Pet Plan has 250,000 users, and get this, full circle, Gretchen, they're renaming to The Fetch. And now The Fetch is gonna start selling pet insurance to the Dodo's 100 million American users, most of whom have pets. So let's say you go to the Dodo, you just wanna watch a casual animal video. Here's how Jack and I think it'll appear. Cat is very involved in mom's morning routine. But then Jack and I think they're gonna add this specific line at the end of that beautiful cat video. Mom should be very involved in pets' healthcare with pet insurance from The Fetch. So the Dodo is the partial owner and Fetch gets absurd free advertising. So Jack, what's the takeaway for our buddies over at the Dodo? Ads are not enough for the media companies. Snackers, your go-to newspapers, they've been suffering because Google and Facebook have been like snagging their ad revenue game. That's why the Dodo is leveraging its animal-loving audience, not through ads. No, through a partial ownership of a pet insurance company. No other media company is doing this. For our second story, Jack, Walmart is going through a massive blow up. It's redesigning a thousand Walmarts to look just like its smartphone app. Snack, as you walk into the Walmart, it'll still feel like a warehouse, but the key here is the navigation. With the app, you'll never get lost in the giant Walmart. Walmart wants you to never ask another Walmart employee can you help me find the stroller section? So they took a idea from the airports, big screens to tell you where you're going. You're not going Denver to Miami, you're going like sports apparel section to the produce section. And then they also made their app more like a blueprint of the Walmart store. So Jack, you're gonna open the app and you're like, all right, where's the arts and crafts section of this thing? It's over there. Then you're like, all right, well then where's the hardware section? It's back in the corner. And then you're like, I'm hungry, I gotta get this bakery. Where's the baking center? It's over there by the deli. So Jack, what's the takeaway for our buddies over at Walmart? Walmart is trying to end browsing. This isn't just about downloading the Walmart app, which it is. This is about getting Walmart shoppers in and out of the store as quickly as possible. Walmart wants you buying those pillowcases in three minutes, just like Delta wants you off the plane in three minutes. Walmart thinks efficient shoppers will lead to efficiently more profits. Jack, it feels like the real takeaway here is can River the Profit Puppy use the Walmart app? Because that's like a win-win <laughs> Yes. Snackers, follow us right here on Instagram at Robin Hood Snacks to check us out every day. Or subscribe on YouTube at youtube.com slash Robin Hood app. One video, two stories, three minutes. We'll see you tomorrow. You nailed that, Jack. I'll see you tomorrow.